This third part of linear programming is about the geometry of linear programming. Also, it is the actual application of uh, linear programming in uh, word problems. Ang tawag dito ay modeling. Real-world problems can be solved through linear programming. Before one can solve a problem through linear programming, it must be translated into mathematical equations. This mathematical translation is called a model. Every li linear programming problem has three components, the variables, objectives, and constraints. Variables are the quantities that may vary in a problem. In linear programming, the objective can only be a minimization or a maximization. Since the real world is finite and limited, the constraints need to be met in order to optimize. Then what is the corner principle? The corner principle states that the maximum and minimum values of an objective function occur at corner points of the region of possible solutions if that region is bounded. Then there are steps to follow in using graphical method in linear programming. Number one is to represent the unknown in the problem by using decision variables using any letter. Usually, if we use X and Y. If necessary, tabulate the unknown data. Then, formulate the objective function and the constraints. Graph the constraints and find the feasible region. Substitute the coordinates found in the feasible region. And finally, determine your solution by selecting the highest value for uh, maximization or the lowest value for minimization. We have here one example for actual word, word problem. Shinlin Electronics assembles stereo equipment for sale in their shop. It offers two products, turntables and cassette players. It makes a profit of 200 pesos on each turntable and 400 on each cassette player. Both must undergo two steps, assembly and bench checking. A turntable takes 12 hours to assemble and 4 hours to bench check. A cassette player takes 4 hours to assemble and 8 hours to bench check. Then, the, sh the shop has 60 hours available in assembly per period of production and 40 hours of bench checking time. Determine the number of turntables and cassette players it must produce to maximize the profit. So, ito siya ngayon. Nag-iisip siya kung ang kita niya sa bawat turntable ay 200 pesos at sa bawat cassette player ay 400. Ilang cassette player ang gagawin niya at ilang turntables ang gagawin niya. Considering na ang kanyang limitation ay 60 hours lang ang available in assembly time and 40 hours naman sa bench checking time. So, ibig sabihin, when you see uh, the word available, hanggang dun lang hindi po pwedeng sumobra sa 60 hours or 40, or 40 hours yung uh, production time dahil yun lang ang limit na oras. Okay? Uh, first, uh, let us make a representation. Uh, X, let X be uh, the turntables and Y uh, represents the cassette players. So, eto nilagay natin sa tabular form. Yung X ay turntable. Sa assembly, assembly period ng turntable ay 12 hours. Ang bench checking naman ay uh, 4 hours. Whereas sa cassette players, yun yung Y. Ang assembly period ay 4 hours and bench checking is 8. So kung sa assembly time, meron tayong available hours na 60 at uh, sa bench checking naman ay 40. So yun yung isusulat natin sa time available. Then, we have the profit. For each turntable, we have 200. And for each cassette player, we have 400. So, ang objective mo is to maximize. Kasi kita pinag-uusapan dyan. Uh, maximize the profit. Ang profit mo, 200. 200 times X or 200 of turntables. 200, uh, then, plus 400 uh, times the cassette players. 400 uh, of cassette players. 
subject to also itong limitation mo sa assembly time we have 12 12x plus then 4y 4y naman sa cassette is less than or equal to 60 then for bench checking 4x plus 8y is less than or equal to 40 hours of bench checking time okay, find the corners of the vertices katulad nung una natin ginawa convert mo siya into equation 12x plus 4y equals 60. Then let x be equal to 0. 4y equals 60 divided, divided by 4. y equals 15. Then we have 0, 15. Another, let y equals 0. Uh, 12x plus 4 times 0 equals 60. 12x equals 60 divided by 12. x is equal to 5. Then we have the second ordered pair, 5, 0. On the second equation, 4x plus 8y equals 40. Let x be equal to 0. We have 8y equals 40 divided by 8y equals 5. Then we have the first ordered pair for this equation, 0, 5. The other one, let y equals 0, 4x plus uh, 0 equals 40. Of course, 4y equals 40 divided by 4. x equals 10. So the ordered pair for this is 10, 0. Second is graph the points in shade of visible region. Uh, apat yung ating ipaplat dyan. First is 0, 15. So 0 ang x. 15 naman yung y. So, akyat ka ng 15 steps. Yun yung 0, 15. The other one is 5, 0. Okay. Hakbang ka pa kanan ng 5. Since y is 0, andun lang siya. Hindi siya akyat. Hindi siya bababa. And connect the points by a straight line. Yung red, yun yung 12x plus 4y is less than or equal to 60. The next one is 0, 5, and 10, 0. Uh, 0 ang x, so doon lang siya sa gitna lang. Akyat ka ng 5 para sa y. So that is 0, 5. Tapos, yung damang isa, uh, 10, 0. Hakbang ka ng 10 papuntang kanan. So that is x and y is 0. Hindi ka bababa, hindi ka akyat connect the points. You know, that is the blue, the blue line uh, is 4x plus 8y less than or equal to 40. Okay? So, since parang less than or equal to, that is true. Siyempre, pagka true, uh, the direction of the shade is going towards zero. Meron tayong tatlong vertices. So, nakita mo meron kang point of intersection doon sa dalawang line. Yung line in red at saka yung blue. Meron kang point of intersection. Okay, uh, pag kinumpute mo siya uh, using the elimination method, uh, meron na tayong uh, computation dito. 12x plus 4y equals 60, 4x plus 8y equals 40. And then, convert one equation into another equation na pwede mo, pwede kang mag, pwede mag zero when you add to another uh, equation that is negative uh, 2 times 12x plus 4y equals 60. So, naging uh, negative 24x minus 8y equals negative 120. Then, idagdag mo siya. You add it to 4x plus 8y equals 40. 0 na yung negative 8y plus 8y. Ang natira, negative 20x equals negative 80. Dividing both sides of the equation by negative 20x equals 4. Okay, and then to find y, 
you substitute the value of, of x into any of the equations. So, sinubstitute natin siya dun sa una. 12 times 4 plus 4y equals 60. Then, we have 48 plus 4y equals 60. 4y equals 60 minus 48. 4y equals 12. Divided by 4, y equals 3. Therefore, the point of intersection is 4, 3. Kaya meron tayong tatlong vertices ng feasible regions. 0, 5, 4, 3, and 5, 0. Substitute the values in the objective function. Ang objective mo kanina is 200x plus 400y. So, dito, 200 ang kita mo per turntable, 400 naman per cassette player. So, ano ang gagawin mo? Okay, substitute natin yung tatlong vertices. We have 0, 5, 40, and 5, 0. 200 times 0, kasi yung 0 na yon value na x, plus 400 times yung value ng y mo ay 5 equals 2,000. Yung pangalawa, 200 times value of x is 4 plus 400 times the value of y is 3 equals 2,000 also. Another one, 5, 0. 200 times value of x is 5 plus 400 times value of y is 0. We have 1,000. And then, mamili ka ako ano ang gagawin mo dito in order to maximize profit. Okay, to maximize profit, the shop, the shop may opt to assemble 5 cassette players or pwede rin yung 4 turntables and 3 cassette players kasi pareho lang naman sila ng uh, kabuang kita. Okay, so hanggang dun lang ang uh, examples natin but you can also uh, solve uh, some exercises para practice kayo. And that's all for today. Thank you very much.